Hello everybody, it's Brandon again, talking about Chrome OS Flex again today. I got a request to see if how VLC Player runs on Chrome OS Flex, and I did kind of go over this in one of my earlier videos, but it was like embedded halfway through the video, so a lot of people probably didn't see it. So we're going to go ahead and check that out now. Uh, the first thing you want to do is get the Linux environment up and running. I have a video on my channel about how to do that. Know that a lot of people are having problems getting this to work on Chrome OS Flex. One thing you can always try is to make sure that uh, CPU virtualization is enabled in your BIOS. Beyond that, if it's not working, you might have a problem. But let's open up our terminal. We're going to type sudo apt install vlc. And we're just going to let that go here. And you could also install this using Flatpak if you prefer that. There's a lot more steps you got to go through to get flat packs working, but if you want to go through all those steps, see the video on my channel about setting up flat packs, because um, it makes it easier to install a lot of other software if you're willing to go through all that. But for just something like VLC, this one's to me it's easy enough to just do it this way. So looks like we got everything downloaded. We're just installing. Progress is building up. Also, while we're waiting for this to install. I uh, noticed this morning that our channel here is getting close to 500 subscribers. I know in the grand YouTube scheme of things that's a small amount, but for me it's big. So I just want to thank you all who have subscribed to the channel. And um, most of the content is thanks to you guys because I'm just making videos uh, based on things you guys ask me to check out in the comments. So thank you to everybody. Uh, if you want to join the subscribers you can hit subscribe as well and if there's other things you want me to check out on Chrome OS Flex uh, just let me know in the comments or also other things we've been trying different Linux distributions on the channel if there's a particular one you want me to test I'm fine with that so yeah we got that installed and I close my terminal and when you install a Linux application it'll show up in a little folder at the bottom of your launcher called Linux apps and we're gonna launch VLC here we go. So that works. But of course, can we play something right from the file manager? So I'm going to open that up. Here's the uh, YouTube videos I've been making on the thing. I'm going to say, here's something annoying about the file manager. The pop-up window will sometimes go out of the window, and then you can't see. Anyway, you saw what it did there. So we're going to right-click, open with VLC. Whoa. Hey Here's one of my old videos. That on. So that worked. And uh, other things work on here too, I noticed. Uh, if you go to the... Somewhere there's a... Oh yeah, this is a problem I've noticed with a lot of Linux applications. I'm glad this happened on the video so I could show you. Uh, you click on a menu, and it shows up way down here. Really annoying. I don't know why. If anybody else knows how to address that. And it makes it almost impossible to go to stuff. Uh... Sometimes you might just have to use your keyboard to navigate the menus. Super annoying. Super annoying. Maybe if I just right click and go to playlist. I know VLC has a way to, uh... oh well, it doesn't matter. I was kind of getting off on a tangent here. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. You guys saw in here how you can set up VLC, how it works. If all you're doing is wanting to play a video from your file system, and uh, then it can do that. I would only install it, really, if you have a video that the normal gallery app can't play. Because I've noticed the gallery app that's built into Chrome OS works pretty good. And it's been able to play most file types that I've thrown at it. But if you have one that it doesn't, VLC can uh, help you out in a bind. For the most part, most people probably won't even need to install it. And as I showed you, and this I've noticed this on a ton of Linux apps on this thing, uh, the menus are jacked up. And that's another thing they got to fix because I've said it in many videos. If you're really just wanting Linux apps, you're better off looking at a Linux distribution. Linux on Chrome OS Flex, still not there yet. Maybe they'll get there eventually. We'll keep testing it. In the meantime, thank you for watching. I'd appreciate if you liked the video and subscribed. Uh, and yeah, I hope you all have a good day. Goodbye now.